So the book I read today is .NET Core in Action by Dustin Metgar. Now, one thing you'll notice is it's a very small book, so there's not many pages. There are 268, including like the index and everything else. So it's a nice, quick read. It won't take you long. Firstly, would I recommend this book? Uh, definitely, yes. It's a nice, short read, and the knowledge gained in those pages is definitely worthwhile. The recommended skill level for this, this was a kind of tough one. I, I want to say beginner, because beginners will definitely learn from this and gain knowledge from this book. Like, really, anybody will gain knowledge from this book at any level. Uh, so I'm going to recommend it to beginners, but I will have a little note on that that says that if you're an intermediate person or perhaps a person that's released applications, you know, done a more of a pro, more of a full product life cycle, you will gain more from this book because as we'll see, the topics of the book are more related to product release than language. That brings us on to what this book talks about. Now, even though it's a short book and in my head, I'm like, it doesn't talk about much. When I come to list them down, it is, it does talk about quite a lot of things. So it starts with a basic introduction as to, you know, why .NET Core exists, what, you know, where it come from, the purposes of developing .NET Core. It then moves on to creating a basic Hello World console application and then a kind of Hello World ASP.NET Core application to get you straight into using the language. And from that, it moves on to how you'd set up your environment on Windows as well as Mac and Linux. Again, a, a big benefit of .NET Core, you can develop on all three platforms as well as publish on all three platforms. So that kind of, those three first little bits are really well-rounded. You, you want to know about .NET Core. It tells you why it exists, where it come about. It then shows you how to install, set it up, then create your first application. And that's the kind of thing I would want to do if I was gonna learn something new. I'd, I'd want those exact steps. You know, what is it? Why is it useful? How do I install it? How do I run it? Um, you know, and how do I develop on it? So the, the introduction, the first set of this book is really good. It then moves on to digging deep, which is also what I like to do with code, which I was surprised at in this. It goes straight into the CS Proj files and MS Build and how it gets put together. So real deep learning, which is, you know, how I tend to teach things. So I was really pleased with that. It was, it was nice to read. Uh, this is one place I actually learned something as well. It then does unit testing, which everybody knows I'm not a fan of. The slight introduction to it in this book was, again, a nice brief introduction. I can do unit testing, but I'm not really a fan. Uh, but this book introduces you to unit testing um, using XUnit. And again, it does it in a nice, clear way with some simple examples in a short amount of space. So you're not forever reading, you know, a focused topic. But they've done it because these developers feel that it's important in their workflow. So they're naturally going to explain it. Similar to like I'd explain comments in anything I was doing because it's naturally something important to me. So the unit testing was kind of chucked in this um, book I feel because it was more what the developers like to use and not really relevant to .NET Core in any way. Uh, then the middle of the book gets talking about a bit of a, a big chunk of the book, I'd say, talking about interacting with databases, um, both directly and then with ORMs like uh, Dapper and Entity Framework. Uh, this was the bit where I kind of got a little bit bored, if you will. Uh, not for the topic, but more for the book was like nice and fast paced and short little chops of we're going to do this, then this, then this. And it was all nicely flowing. And then there was a good bulk of the same of all that introduction code repeated again, but just focused on talking to a database directly, which again, great knowledge, very well explained. Uh, but this maybe felt a little bit, not necessarily out of place, but you know, we didn't really need that in a book on .NET Core, I didn't feel. I guess it's an important part of development though. I guess, you know, nearly every application these days has a database. So you know, not too much of a dig there, but it just felt a little drawn out in the database section. It filled up quite a big chunk of the book that I was hoping might have other things in. Uh, so it goes from, you know, raw database access to then entity framework and the likes. And again, it explains these really well, really clear and simple. Then it does a little section on microservices. Uh, not much to say there, just basically a microservice is a self-contained, fully complete, small application, basically. But again, it does a a nice job of defining and explaining that. And then the roll off at the end of the book is focused on like performance and profiling and then deploying your application at the end. So, you know, like signing your application and deploying it and making a NuGet package. Uh, so really I feel this book is, is more about not necessarily .NET Core as a language as in C-sharp behind the scenes say, it's more of the actual, the .NET Core uh, framework, you know, what .NET Core is about, how you would 
consume it, use it, build for, and deploy with .NET Core with no extra detail. It's very light and quick read, which is nothing bad again, but do bear in mind this book is a, you know, basically a short book with a lot of knowledge packed into small areas. The knowledge I gained uh, is really, there's only one thing I gained from this, but again, it's worth reading. If you gain even one thing with a book, it's worth reading. Uh, the MS build targets and running them from command line I learned. So that was useful to me, how, you know, to make better use of MS build. The pros, there are quite a few. Basically, I've kind of just explained them. I've, I've given merits to how they've written the book, the way it's explained. That's really good. It's very well structured and easy to follow. The explanations are great. And in a very short space of time, you know, 200 pages, it covers really the entire start to finish life cycle of a .NET Core application. So if you wanted to release a console application that said Hello World, you could do this with this book. You could install .NET Core without knowing anything about it, construct the basic application, compile it, uh, create a published output, sign it and distribute it on Nougat. So that's kind of, in a nutshell, what this book teaches you, how to you know, deploy an application really with .NET Core. And there's also, at every section, very good recommendations for kind of further reading. So it'll explain a little bit about, say, MS Build, and then say, here's further reading, or a bit about XUnit, and then you can read more here. So those kind of future readings are really good. It makes it, people that want to delve deeper into certain areas, they've got somewhere to start looking. The cons, there's only really two I can think of. Uh, one is the title could perhaps be a little bit more descriptive. .NET Core in action, you know, it's, it's a little bit generic. I'd maybe aim this more towards, you know, um, I don't really know what to call the title, but, you know, deploying an application in .NET Core. So maybe .NET Core um, product release or, you know, again, that's a terrible name, but maybe that's why they called it .NET Core in action. But yeah, the, the title I feel could be something better than it is to be a bit more descriptive. And the only other con is really that it's a short book. I, I felt I got through this in about an hour and a half um, and I felt wanting almost with the book. I, I was enjoying the read. It was nice to read. It was well structured. There was, you know, pieces in there. It could have gone into more detail or added more to the book. So my final thoughts on the book really are that this is a book not focused on .NET Core code, not C-sharp code or writing specific code in any way. You learn nothing more than how to write Hello World in this book. It's all about how .NET Core is consumed, used, how you specify frameworks, how you build and deploy, those kind of features of .NET Core. So just a warning if you want to buy this book to learn code, this is not specifically a code book, but it's a very good book for anyone that's doing .NET Core and wonders about, I'm getting ready to release, you know, a product. Uh, how do I do that? This is a perfect book to really get you the brief knowledge you need and enough topics and directions to let you further read to find out what you want. So anybody wanting to release a product, I'd say this is the book for that. So I'm going to highly recommend it for that specific reason. As always, I'll leave a link to buy this book in the description of the video. If you do use that link, it helps me out because then I get a small affiliate fee from Amazon for doing so. So if you are going to buy it, please do just use that link. And if you read the book, let me know your thoughts on it. And if you have any further reading to recommend, I'm always looking out for recommendations for books to read. Leave any questions or comments. And as always, if I've helped you with anything, please consider donating.